How did the Marilyn Manson thing come about, getting into the band with me? You knew him from before. Yeah, from before, exactly. People always ask me how I met him, and the truth is, in 1990, we were doing our very first Nails tour in a van uh, for Pretty Hate Machine, driving around, and Manson at the time was living in Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale, and he was writing for a fanzine, and he came to do an interview with us, and then at the end of the interview, like every musician would do in 1990, hands you a cassette tape and say, hey, will you check out my band's demo tape? I think I still have a copy of it at home, but it's Marilyn Manson and the Spooky Kids, you know, black yeah. and white Xerox, yeah. folded by hand, <laughs> you know, with the sleeve and stuff. The old days. <laughs> and, you know, a few days later, we're driving around America, bored, and we're like, let's check that weird guy's tape out. We put it in, and, like, everyone in the van was like, is it me, or is this really good? And it was like, oh, my God, it became our favorite tape. So as soon as Trent was in a position of power to sign people himself... That he was like, I, that's my first guy. And so, so you, I didn't write in there. You guys knew it the first time you heard it, whatever yeah. was coming yeah. out of there? Yeah, knew it was, it had it was songs off the first record, like Lunchbox and Cake and Sodomy and some of the other singles that were off that first record. So, so. fast forward to another 13, and 14 then, years. Yeah, so then I, we, I lost touch with him during uh, Dope Show, whatever that was, Mechanical Animals, and then but uh, stayed friends and everything, would come to shows and everything. And then in 2004, uh, his drummer, Ginger, ha took a really nasty spill, of, uh, fell off a stage, like 20-foot stage, ended up in, in a hospital in Cologne, Germany for three weeks. Mm -hmm. Broke several bones, concussion, the whole, the whole thing, couldn't fly. So I get a random call from Manson's manager. He's like, it was the greatest hits record. It was called Lest, Lest Leave Forget or something like that. Yeah. And so he was like, look, we got this tour booked, and Ginger's now laid up for at least like 12 weeks while he, all his bones heal. Would you want to go back out on the road? Because I hadn't toured since Nails. You know? Right. And so they were like, would you want to come out on the road and play drums and fill in? I was like, man, yeah, I should get my leave, and like, that would be fun. And... Um, so that was supposed to be an eight-week gig, and it turned into, what, seven years? Seven by years. Your, by your count? Yeah, yeah. not seven years. And wow. Then, yeah, wow. So Went all over the world with them? So many times, which was great. He does tour a lot, and he goes to a lot of crazy places, a um, lot of Eastern Bloc, a lot of Russia, mm. a lot of places like that. So I spent a lot of time in some really cool, interesting Croatia, some weird places I, I would never get to go normally. So Yeah, the stuff 